Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Wow, today I definitely have an interesting video. Today we are going to be talking about a Roblox editor that seems to be very overrated, according to others that have seen her content. Let's go. By the thumbnail and title you definitely know who I'm talking about. All Ills is a Roblox editor with around 16,000 subscribers. She posts often, usually once or twice a day. Before I begin explaining why people think she is overrated I will play one of her videos. So yeah, that's basically what the majority of her edits are like. Please keep in mind that she completely uses presets, and did not create those transitions. To edit she uses an app called Videosta, where there is a feature to scan QR codes. You are then able to use the pre-made animation or effect or whatever the QR code gives you. So really, she's growing off of other people's work, and puts very little time and effort into her videos herself. These edits are extremely easy to make, and I personally do not think they deserve a lot of views. The only thing that takes time is the ghost text effect, as you have to add the text onto a green screen and erase the screen to make it transparent. However this usually doesn't take that long and it's really the only bit of effort put into these kids of edits. Right so I used to have a lot of haters a while back, and I still have a few now. The thing is, sometimes I feel you should listen to the haters. Obviously not if they are sending you death threats or anything, but if they are saying your content is trash or you're overrated it must be for a reason right. I mean after listening to the haters I've improved my videos and some of them have actually become my supporters. So maybe having haters isn't a bad thing after all. But there's a reason why they are calling you overrated. They probably want to see some more effortful videos. Also, making an entire video out of it will only encourage them to continue hating. You're giving them the attention they want. Only OGs will remember that mix and breezy dude that used to comment on my videos. I used to respond to his comments the wrong way, and gave him a lot of attention by exposing him. Basically, ignore the haters if they are really getting to you. But if many people are calling your channel bad then you may want to consider changing your content up a bit. Let's take a look at all Lil's most viewed video. We used to be best buddies. And now we're not. I wish you would tell me. Okay how does this have 200,000 views? As I previously mentioned she did not make any of the transitions. And judging from the start of the edit I'm guessing she must have the paid version of Video Star, so she was able to use more advanced QR codes. Still, that doesn't change the fact that she didn't make them. Let's move on from her videos though, there's another problem with her channel. She seems to always be getting into petty childish arguments with her friends, then posting about them publicly on YouTube where her fans, who don't know the full story, tell her it's all going to be fine and send hate to the other person. I very rarely post about my personal problems on YouTube, as I don't like dragging my viewers into unnecessary drama. Here's an example. A, B, C, D, e, G, H, I love you still, and you know I always will, till the end of time, I won't change my mind. I'm not going to touch on the fact that this was probably really easy to make therefore it does not deserve 50,000 views. I've already talked about effort, and you may be thinking that there's nothing wrong with this edit. Well, take a look at this comment that she posted under the video. Thank you for blocking me on YouTube, Roblox, Discord and Snapchat. You meant so much to me. Wait hold up. You're telling me you're not friends anymore because you ignored her on a liver stream. This drama is so childish and there was no need to make an entire video on it as you simply could have sorted it out between you both. I will admit though, it's kind of stupid how the other person doesn't want to be friends with Lils just because she ignored her on a liver stream. I mean, come on, she was probably busy or something. This is ridiculous. Okay 
I want to talk about this age reveal trend. I honestly think it's pointless. Your viewers don't actually have to know your age. They are subscribed because they like your content not because you're a certain age. Plus people that do this trend seem to receive a lot of hate. Another thing is that according to YouTube's terms of service you cannot own a YouTube channel if you're under the age of 13, which most Roblox editors are. I know Lil said that she was 13, but I'm talking about other editors here. I know people that have had their channels terminated due to being underage. It's a really big problem, and it's also why YouTube was tangled up in all that copper drama a few years ago. I'm not telling you to go to YouTube kids, and I'm not even telling you to quit your channel. Just don't put your age out there, as there is a chance that you could get banned plus your viewers don't need to know your age lol. Once again everyone in the comments are sympathetic towards her, even though they are most definitely confused and have no idea what happened. Like if you're going to post this on YouTube why not give some more info? You're clearly not going to receive hate. The entire comment section is full of positivity even though you were being extremely unclear. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video informative please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Remember not to send hate to anyone mentioned in this video. As always, love you all. Bye.